Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. We'll be doing a, a hypothesis test where we're doing small independent samples involving population mean. Uh, so what we'll be doing is exactly using these test statistics that we have uh, illustrated in the past. So remember, these problems we're going to be using when we have one or more of the sampling that we're doing less than 30. That's a small sample. Just takes one of them for it to kick in. And in that case, we have to use a t distribu distribution. So as we read the problem, we'll have to make a decision at one point. Do we use this test statistic or do we use this one? And I'll walk you through the logic behind that. All right, so the problem says there's a claim out there that people who attend home improvement classes finish projects in less time. That makes sense to me. So we have group A. That's 10 people who attend the class. Uh, an average, it takes an average of 14.1 hours to finish their home improvement project with a standard deviation of 2.3 hours. So these are the people that took the class, completed the class, went home, did their project, took an average of 14.1 hours with a standard deviation of 2.3 hours. Group B is another 10 people. They did not attend the, attend the class. It takes them an average of 15.0 hours with a standard deviation of 2.4 hours. Okay, and so we want to test this claim at a 0.01 level of significance. That's a very high level of confidence. 99% level of confidence corresponds to that. So again, we have a, a hypothesis that's easy for anyone to get behind. It makes sense that if you go take a class, on average, you should be more skilled. So when you get home, you should be able to tackle your project and do it in a smaller amount of time. That would be a great advertising point for a home improvement um, store to be able to advertise. Unfortunately, they didn't really have a large sample size here. Each of the different groups, we only had 10 people in each one. They don't have to be equal in order to use these methods, but they're both less than 30. So we can't use a normal distribution. We have to use a t-distribution. So then the next question is, which one of these are we going to use? Are we going to use pooled or not pooled? All right, so in this case, it means that we assume that the variances of two populations are equal. Now, what populations are we talking about? We're talking about the population of people who do a home improvement project and they've taken a class. That would be one pool group of people that we're talking about, or a population. Another population is the people that do a home improvement project, but they never took a class. Those are the two different groups of people. You have to be in one or the other. There's no overlap. Either you took a class or you didn't take a class. And they're separate people, totally different people. So do you think we should use pooled or not pooled? Well, here we're assuming the variance of the two, of the two population uh, means are equal. Population mean in this case is how long it took them to do a project. And we're not talking about the length of time to do the project. We're talking about the variance, the spread in the data. That's what we're assuming to be equal in this case. Here we're assuming